Hello everyone. My name is Jyoti Kerba Dharmode. I am a student of third year B Pharmacy from Shivaji Rao S Dondoy College of Pharmacy, Asanga. Today I am going to explain a topic from subject Industrial Pharmacy 1 that is compression and processing problems in tablets under the guidance of Geeta Moira ma'am which is assistant professor of our college. First, let's begin with the introduction part. In olden days, tablets were initially punched on small scale with hand operated machines which suffered the problem of varied strength and integrity. But now the tablet punching machines are all mechanized like the mechanical feeding of feed from the hopper into the dark, electronic monitoring of the press but tablet process problem still persists. An industrial pharmacist usually encounters number of problems during manufacturing. In olden days, means before the development of machines which were useful in tablet processing, we used to punch tablets on small scale by using hand operated machines which leads to various effects in tablets like the strength and quality of tablet get varied. But now the tablet punching machines are all get developed and mechanized but still there are so many problems occur in tablet processing. There are some basic problems may occur due to tablet defects either during manufacturing or on storage. Now what is meant by tablet defects? Tablet defects are deficiencies that are usually encountered in tablet formulation like capping, lamination, etc. that we will see in further slides. Uh, basic problems arise due to tablet defects. There are five problems. First is weight variation. When the tablets do not have uniform weight, it is known as weight variation. This type of variations occurs when granules are not uniform in size and poor flow of granules from hopper to dye also cause weight variation. Second problem is mechanical strength related. There are two, there are two problems, first hardness and second friability. Hardness. The hardness of tablet depends on the weight of the material used, space between the upper and lower punches at the time of compression and pressure applied during compression. The hardness of tablets also depend on the nature and quantity of excipients used during formulation. Second, friability. Friability test is performed to evaluate the ability of tablets to withstand abrasion in packing, handling and transporting. Then, third problem is release profile alter. Release profile alter indicates the drug release profile. A drug release refers to the process in which drug solutes migrate from the initial position in the polymeric system to polymer's outer surface and then to the release medium. Then, fourth, fourth problem is contained uniformity. The test for contained uniformity is performed to ensure that every coated or uncoated tablet contains the stated amount of medicaments within the prescribed limits. In this test, a number of tablets from a batch are selected randomly and assay procedures are carried out according to the monographs in the official books. Now, the fifth problem is visual defects. Visual defects are basically known as the imperfections. Now, we will study about the visual defects in more detail in next slides. An ideal tablet should be free from any visual defect or functional defect. With the development of technology, the production process had become more simplified and more mechanized. The imperfections known as visual defects. Visual defects are either related to imperfections in any one or more of the following factors. First is formulation design, second is tabulating process and third is machine. Majority of visual defects are due to inadequate fines or inadequate moisture in the granules are ready for compression or due to faulty machine setting. The, this slide shows the visual defects and there are three factors of visual defects. First is process related, second formulation related and third machine related. The defects come under the process related are capping, lamination, cracking and chipping. The defects come under the formulation related are sticking, picking and binding and the machine related defect is double impression. Now we will study all the defects of tablets and their causes as well as remedies. So let's see the first process related defect of tablet which is capping. The upper or lower segment of capping the upper or lower segment of tablet separates horizontally either partially or completely from the main body of tablet and comes off as a cap during ejection from the tablet press or during subsequent handling. Now, as we see in the picture, this is the upper segment of a cap tablet and this is the lower segment of the tablet. This, this separates horizontally and comes as a cap. This is called as a capping. Same in the second picture. Causes and remedies of capping. First is air entrapment is one of the cause of capping. Air entrapment can be reduced by pre-compression or by increasing dwell time and by increasing punch tip die clearance. 
air get entrapped into the tablet that's why it cause capping we can reduce this air entrapment by using pre compression or by increasing dwell time dwell time means it is the time that each individual punch head flat remains in contact with the compression roller of rotary press then by increasing punch tip die clearance tip clearance is the difference in size between the punch tip and and the die bore which allows the punch to move freely within the die bore during operation second cause is too much of fines too much of fines in granules is also responsible for capping the defect can be overcome by reducing the amount of fines in granules third cause is capping occurs if granules are not thoroughly dry so dry the granules properly for this insufficient or improper lubricant is a reason of capping this can be overcome by increasing the amount of lubricant or change the type of lubricant lubricants is are the reduce the friction between the tablet and the die metal surface which reduces the ejection force and helps to ensure that the tablets is cleanly ejected and without cracking or breakage if we use this lubricants improper or insufficient it will cause the capping in tablets we can overcome this by by increasing the amount of lubricants or change the type of lubricants punch design is also responsible to cause capping so use flat punches instead of deep concave or beveled edge punches sixth is low dwell time also cause capping therefore increase dwell time by decreasing turret speed seventh is incorrect adjustment of sweep of blade cause capping sweep of blade is used in the rotatory tablet press machines if we adjust the sweep of blade incorrectly it will also cause capping so we should adjust it correctly to facilitate proper injection ejection now next process related defect of tablet is lamination lamination it is the separate of tablets into two or more distinct horizontal layers as we see in the picture the tablets get separate into one two or three distinct layer is called as a lamination now causes and remedies of lamination higher speed of turret cause air entrapment during compression which causes lamination this problem can be overcome by carry out pre compression and by increasing dwell time and also by increasing punch die clearance turret turret is a tool which used in tablet compression machines to press the tablet this turret speed plays an important role in tablet mechanical strength as it affects the compression kinetics so if we increase the speed of turret it will cause air entrapment which will leads to the lamination second causes oily or waxy materials in granules also cause lamination so modify the mixing process by adding adsorbent or adsorbents third is the large amount of hydrophobic lubricants cause lamination therefore use less amount of lubricant or change the type of lubricants now next process related defect of tablet is cracking cracking is the defect where small fine cracks observed on the upper and lower central surface of tablets or very rarely on the solid board as we can see in the as we can see in the picture there are small or fine cracks on the tablets this is called as the cracking next causes and remedies of cracking first if the size of granules is large because of this air get entrapped between the created cavities and during compression cause cracking this can be overcome by reducing the granule size or by adding fines second is too dry granules also cause cracking therefore moisten the granules properly and add proper amount of binder then third is always compress granules at room temperature to avoid cracking for this deep concave punches also cause cracking during the ejection of tablets therefore replace them the next process related defect of tablet is chipping chipping it is the breaking of tablet edges while the tablet leaves the press or during subsequent handling and coating operations so chipping uh, we can see in the picture there uh, at the edge of the tablet there is a breakage this is called as a chipping causes and remedies of chipping first two dry granules cause chipping so moisten the granules by adding hygroscopic substances a hygroscopic substances is one that readily attracts water from its surrounding the examples of hygroscopic substances include honey glycerin ethanol methanol concentrated sulfuric acid etc second is the large amount of binding also cause chipping therefore use dry binder or binder in appropriate amount if third if the exit chute is not placing the tablet properly in d duster it may cause chipping so properly correct machine setting 
D-duster is a pharmaceutical processing equipment that removes the fine surface dust from tablets through using vibrate, vibratory effect. And the exit cute exit shoot is a part of a D-duster machine. So if the exit shoot is not placing the tablet properly in D-duster, it may cause cheap, cheaping. So properly so properly correct machine setting. Fourth is if the age of age of punch face turn inside, it cause cheaping. This problem is resolved by polishing the punch edges. Next defect is formulation related, which is sticking and picking. Sticking and picking defects arise due to material adhesion on the punch faces and die wall. Sticking. Sticking refers to the tablet material adhering to the die wall. The lower punch can't move freely. In this image, there is an upper punch and this is the lower punch and this is the die wall. So tablet of material gets adhered to the die wall and that's why the lower punch can't move free, freely. This is called as a sticking. Next, picking. If the material adhesion is on punches, some portion of tablet surface appears uneven. Uh, in this, in this uh, image, the uh, tablet material is adhered on a punch. It's, uh, it's get adhered on a punch. So that's why the surface of tablets get uneven. This is called as a picking. Picking occurs when punch tips have engraving or embossing letters and when the granular material is improperly dyed. We can see in the below image the punch face affected by sticking and the tablet face affected by sticking. Next, causes and remedies of sticking. First, sticking occurs due to improperly dried or improperly lubricated granules which can be improved by drying the granules properly or by changing the lubricants. Second is addition of colloidal silica as polishing agent avoids sticking. Third, fast compressing process also causes sticking, therefore reduce speed of compression machine. Next is causes and remedies of picking. First is low melting point substances lead to the picking. This can be overcome by using high melting point lubricants. Second, compression of too warm granules cause picking. Therefore, refrigerate granules and compress them at room temperature. Third is rough punch face cause picking. Plate the punch faces with chromium to produce a smooth and non adherent face. Next, a formulation related defect is binding. Binding in the dye is the term used when the tablets are there, seize or tear in the dye. A film is formed in the dye and ejection of tablet is hindered. With excessive binding, the tablet slides are cracked and it may crumple apart. We can see in the picture, this is the die wall of the machine. So in this die wall, the tablets get there. That's why, uh, that's why the tablets get crumpled and cracked. This is called as a binding. Next is causes and remedies of binding. First is too moist granules and extrudes around lower punch. So we can overcome this by drying the granules properly. Second is too hard granules for the lubricant to be effective. This, uh, this is can overcome by modifying the granulation or reduce the granular size. Third is granular material very abrasive and cutting into the dyes. We can prevent this by using wear resistant dye. Then fourth causes insufficient or improper lubricants. Uh, we can overcome this by increasing the amount of lubricants or use a more effective lubricants. Then fifth causes granules material too warm. So pre to prevent this, we can reduce the temperature. Next defect related to more than one factors, which is mottling. Mottling, it is an unequal distribution of color on a tablet with light or dark spots standing out in an otherwise uniform surface. So, mottling, it is an unequal distribution or distribution of a color on a tablet, as we can see in the picture. Next, causes and remedies of mottling. First, these defects occur due to migration of dye to the surface during the process of drying. This can be overcome by changing solvent system and by decreasing drying temperature. Second, causes variation in the colors of medicament and excipients. This can be overcome by selecting appropriate colorants. Then third causes improper mixing of colored binder solution. This problem can be overcome by incorporating dry color excipients during powder blending step. Then add fine powder adhesives such as acacia and tragacan and mix well. Finally add granulating liquid. Then next defect is machine related which is double impression. Double impression is the defect where the shape of monograms or other engraving appear stamped twice on the tablet. As we can see in the picture, the shape of the monograms get uh, stamped twice. This is called as a double impression. 
the reason of double impression is at the moment of compression the tablet receives the imprint of the punch now on some machines the lower punch freely drops and travels uncontrolled for a short distance before riding up the ejection cap to push the tablet out of the die now during this free travel the punch rotates and at this point the punch may make a new impression on the bottom of the tablet resulting in double impression the causes of the double impression is free rotation of either upper punch or lower punch during ejection of a tablet now remedies means we can overcome this cause by use keying in tooling that is inside a key alongside of the punch so that it fits the punch and prevents punch rotation next is the newer presses have anti turning devices which prevent punch rotation reference i referred this topic from a textbook of industrial pharmacy one published by nirali prakashan and and also the published by pb publication so here we have completed our topic compression and processing problems in tablets i hope you like the video thank you so much